12 in the muscle division category. Can you give us some idea of how you first started in motor racing? Uh, well, we started a long time ago just going to track days and you know taking our road cars out and having a bit of a drive around and just developed from there and eventually started you know, building a more serious car for a track day and then uh, heard about iRace and turned up to that and they made it very easy to join. So that's why we're here. Uh, it was just at, at one of the circuit events, uh, just met up with Gary and Rod, heard about what Gary and Rod are doing and, and met up there and um, it started from there. Um, you know, Rod was very forthcoming in the information that was needed and what was involved to get into it and it was all very easy and uh, when it's easy, it's easy. You know, I'm, I'm putting my money and my backing behind the series and you know, everyone else out there should, should do the same thing if you know, that doesn't necessarily mean providing sponsorship but turning up in your car, you know, getting your mates out there and uh, you know, getting more people out there to promote the series and, and uh, you know, I've started with my effort and uh, hope that other people will follow and, and put their bit in as well. Uh, the iRace experience is just good fun, you know, there's, there's uh, no real pressure, everyone just gets out, there's a big mix of cars, there's, you know, so there's, there's big speed differences and big competitive differences between the guys but it never causes any problems, there's, you know, everyone gets on and the guys help out each other and you know, it's just very good, clean, fun racing. Look, everyone's a bit different, uh, me personally, I don't care, I'm out there to have fun and, and great to come first but I like to come anywhere as long as I'm out there competing. You know, there's guys out there that have got to come first and, and that's the way they like to race. The good thing about iRace is everybody can do that in together. You know, it's, it's not a series that's set up you know, just for the guys that think they're going to become Formula One drivers and, and it caters from everyone from the you know, top level drivers to all us guys in the middle to, you know, and the same with the cars, a very big range of cars and uh, it, it caters for all of them, so it's great in that respect. Oh, I'd say that uh, if you're looking to get into iRace and if you've got a car, the best thing to do is turn up. You know? And I've not spoken to anyone yet that has turned up and not been able to run. Um, you know, the um, Rod and all the people behind iRace are very accommodating in, in making sure people can get their cars in and, and you know, they don't have issues with the legality of the cars and that sort of thing. They, they check the safety issues of the car and make sure that you know, from that side of things everything's right. And, uh, that's it, you're ready to run. So the, the quickest and easiest way if you've got a car is to, is to get your car down here, get signed up and run. And if you haven't got a car, get down and have a look and, and talk to the iRace guys. You can talk to anyone in these pit garages here. You know, everyone's happy to talk to you and, and give you their little perspective on iRace and what a great series it is. Oh, look, I'd, you know, I'd like to make it every round this year. I'd, I'd planned that last year and, and uh, had a few hiccups along the way and didn't quite make it. So the main goal this year is to get to every round and, and run in every round and, and still be there at the end. I think probably all of us around here are guilty of last minute motorsport, but it's, it's part of the fun. So it, it'd be nice to be able to sit back, you know, weeks in advance and, and work through the days and get everything done and have it ready. But in reality, it came off the circuit last year and has pretty well sat there for, for however many months it's been. I, uh, put a new manifold on it and change the rear end in it, which are, which are minor things, but I don't, I don't know that it'll make any difference, but it's, uh, I like tinkering on the cars, so it's just little projects for me to keep the thing going. The handicap system's great. Yeah. You know, I remember a long time at Oran Park, lined up in pole position on the, on the starting grid with, a, I think there was a Mosler and a couple of V8 supercars lined up behind me, and you know, there's nothing beats that. <laughs> but it's a good way of, of uh, mixing the cars up. Um, you know, it's, it's no good when you get you know, two bunches of cars that are, that are spread out around the track and don't really get to race for each other. With a handicap system, you know, everyone gets the opportunity to, to pass someone or to do some passing and yeah, it makes the, the most racing a lot more fun and, and it means that all the cars, you know, matter, doesn't matter how much money has been spent on them, how fast or slow they are, they can all race together and, you know, and just have just as much fun out of it. So it's a, it's a good system for doing it. You know, the, the only way you'll get into it is by getting out there and, and trying it and, you know, there's guys here that spend a lot of money, there's guys that don't spend very much money at all. It really comes down to you as to how much you want to spend. It's, it's not something that has to be expensive, it can be, but it doesn't have to. You know, the, the entry fees for iRace are, you know, the more, one of the more reasonable ones around and, you know, you get a lot for your money. Um, the cars, you know, just the sky's the limit. I've, I've seen cheap cars get out and guys have an absolute wall in them and I've seen expensive cars, you know, where, again, guys have a wall in them but they, they break and they get crashed just as easily as the it's the cheap ones. <laughs> it's all about having fun. It doesn't need to be a lot of money.